What's up guys, it's Chris with Irene Iron Fitness and today I'm gonna to make a delicious Asian slaw with a burger to serve on top. So if you want a new fresh spin on another burger recipe, keep watching. Happy New Year, happy 2020. I hope that you use these recipes to start getting some meal prepping in and some healthy foods at home cook at home, make yourself some meals, and feel better about it. One of the things that my clients often struggle with is getting enough protein. So I like to do a lot of protein-based recipes that you can then pair your own healthy carbs with and then just give you some ideas for how to rotate it up. So today I'm doing Asian burgers and I'm using pork. I've been using a lot of pork lately because Stater Brothers here sells this 95% lean and it, I'm all about using the lean meats as your sources. So we're gonna mix up the patties. I'm gonna show you what's in them. So you have the pork. We have some classic Asian ingredients that I use quite often. Freshly grated ginger, freshly grated garlic. I have some scallions. These are finely sliced because they're going into the patties I just want to avoid getting a huge chunk of scallion. I like them a little bit finer in a burger. Jalapeno, same deal, finely diced for a little bit of spice. I love spicy food. If you don't, leave them out. If you don't have jalapeno, you can use crushed red pepper flakes. Salt and pepper. And I'm gonna put a touch of sesame oil in here. It's not gonna be a lot, and it's just for the flavor because sesame oil has such a delicious aroma and it really just adds to the overall flavor composition of the burger. So I have my gloves on and I'm just gonna mix this up, get it well combined, and then I'm gonna separate it into equal size patties. I'm gonna do four. So we'll mix it up, divide it up, and then we'll get our pan nice and hot so we can get them seared. Okay, I have my patties formed, four equal sized. I use my scale, I always use my scale when I'm doing patties or meatballs just to make sure everything's the same size so they cook evenly and you know exactly how much protein you're getting in. So for these, you know, you might have one of these, you might have two of these, you might even have three of these. It really depends on what your goals are, what your body size is, how active you are, how much you've ate in that day, what you're eating the rest of the day, it all depends. So there's no set rule for how many you should eat. But let's get these in. I just got this new induction stove top and it's pretty awesome. Saves a lot of counter space for me and it's really cool in here like temperature wise because cooking with the propane gets so hot. But we're gonna get these in the skillet we're gonna wait for them to get nice and brown and cooked halfway through, and then we're gonna flip them. And while these are cooking, I'm going to whip up a slaw. I'm gonna clean up my area, and then we'll get the slaw put together. So for my slaw that I'm gonna serve the burger on top of, I'm using the pre-baked slaw mix. I use this stuff all the time. It's one of my favorite go-to products to purchase that I don't need to do any prep to. It's super cheap. I normally get a huge bag at Sam's Club for like $1.99 and it lasts me a week. I throw it in salads for crunch. I throw it in slaw salads like the whole thing or mix it with spinach. I like to saute it with egg scrambles in the morning. You can do so much with it but it's a really great high volume low calorie food. So as you're trying to consume less calories, add the stuff in, it's great. So this is enough for one salad. I'm gonna show you one salad because that's what I'm eating now, but my recipe does call for enough to make four servings to go with the four burgers. So if you want the full recipe, go to my blog, ireneironfitness.com. There's a whole bunch of different protein recipes and other full skillet meals so that you can hit your goals as you're trying to eat healthy and improve your eating habits. So just start with the coleslaw. And then the dressing is super simple. It's liquid aminos, which I use quite often. 
unseasoned rice wine vinegar and just a touch of that sesame oil. So you just want to mix it all up pretty good and then toss it to coat it. And it's really simple. It adds a nice crunch. You could have this on its own as like a little mini meal if you would or to make it a really nice well-rounded meal you could add in additional vegetables like green beans or broccoli or pea pods or add in a side of rice or more starches whatever it is that you want to eat for that meal but i do think that this goes very well with the burgers it's nice to have a little bed to put your patty on and get a little crunch and that's it so it's super simple i'm going to plate this onto the plate so when the burgers are done I can rest one on top and these are actually ready to flip so I'm going to flip these here. These only took about four minutes on the first side. I didn't add any oil to this pan. You don't need to add oil because there is fat in the patties and then we also added a touch of that oil within the patties. So I just used a dry pan on this and you can see there's no sticking issues. There's plenty of moisture in there and it gets a nice brown crust, which is exactly what you want to see. You want your food to look good, you want it to be brown and have that texture like it just looks like you want to bite into it. So the burgers are only going to take a few more minutes and then we'll get it on the plate. If you have extra uh, scallions, put a little garnish of scallions on there and that's it. I just killed the heat on the induction as the burgers have cooked all the way through. And I'm just gonna plate one up since I'm just eating by myself right now. Cook once, eat twice at least. And in this case, I have three patties for future meals, which is such a huge step when you're trying to eat healthy. You have to have some prepped protein ready to throw together for anything. So I have this here, and I'm just gonna do a, another sprinkle of these scallions and that's it. You have a very tasty salad slaw that is salty and tangy from the dressing and then the flavors of the burgers. This is a winning combo. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this recipe, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe. I hope my recipes help you meet your goals. And remember, you do not need to eat frozen, boiled, soggy broccoli with frozen chicken breasts to be healthy. You can enjoy delicious meals, just cook in your house, get comfortable making things that you like and figure it out what you do enjoy eating because if you don't enjoy eating it, you're not going to stick to it and that is key. So thanks so much, catch you next week, see you next time.